Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to my studio. I'm Kurt Bruegel. I draw women, strong, smart, and sensual women. My profile has a link to my website. It's kurtbruegel.com. I do a weekly newsletter. Every Monday night, I post uh, what I'm working on, um, introspectively thinking about how I work, how I would like to work. I'm adding a uh, art print giveaway, which the last Monday of every month, I'll be posting a winner. Let's uh, see, follow me, join me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Feel free to ask questions, make comments, invite your friends, and if you like what you see, tap the screen. For the next 20 minutes, uh, I'm going to be spending some time here with Red Sonia doing some uh, coloring. I've already started laying down some dark brown. Just finishing up sharpening this yellow-orange pencil. Got my uh, colors ready to go, and I'm going to jump in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I was originally thinking about doing a pen and ink. I still might do that. It's a very high contrast drawing. I mean, she just she just pretty much emerged, submerged in uh, darkness. Um, so the challenge I've given myself with this drawing is really being specific with color combinations. Um, to obviously make things very dark and make things very light. Um, it would seem easy enough to just go ahead and uh, kind of color in flesh tones, make some red hair, highlights here and there, and then just kind of fill everything in with black. But this brown's just the base color. And then uh, I'll probably be using a lot of like purples, violet, um, some reds, maybe even some greens and blues. Um, so, but definitely wanted to spend a day getting this one started. I've got a lot of work, I have to say, that I'm uh, in right now. Enjoying every minute of it. It's not a complaint. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, this is a larger piece. This is uh, 11 by 14 on Strathmore uh, tan tone paper. Strathmore makes this really great. It's a tan. This one is, and then there's also a gray. So for color pencils, the um, oh, it's a match made in heaven, uh, especially when you're wanting to get to points of. Uh, uh, high contrast and uh, lights and darks. Working on white can be uh, a bit of a push in the direction of just uh, throwing colors down and getting darker and darker and darker, leaving the light. I like the pushing and pulling in my work so I can play back and forth with colors. And if you've seen my work in the past, you know I love color, so... <laughs> So I picked uh, Red Sonia based on wanting to f explore characters that are already out there, female leads that are uh, strong, smart, sensual leads. Um, started working on some Xena stuff too, Xena Warrior Princess. Netflix has the whole L6 season, so I think for the third time I'm going to jump back in there. find a lot of uh, similarities between the character Red Sonia and 
Xena being a uh, sort of lone woman warrior. <laughs> down. This was a dark brown. I'm actually going to move right over into some, this is a yellow orange. And, uh, and start going after where the highlights are going to be. So once I get towards the end of the drawing and reestablishing choosing what's really going to be highlighted. This orange, yellow, yellow orange is going to really punch these highlights forward. So technically speaking, I'm using Prismacolor Premium soft core color pencils in combination with some art sticks they have um, this one I'm just working with the pencils love cross hatching color and cross hatching drawing one just big happy family when it comes to working with these pencils and on this paper this paper is fantastic too <laughs> if you have questions or comments feel free to ask if you like what you see, tap the screen. I think one of the uh, things that separated Xena, Warrior Princess, and Red Sonia was um, the fact that Red, um, Xena had Gabrielle. Uh, Gabrielle, um, which really helped the characters along. I have to say that 
something about Red Sonia being completely on her own, although I think the newer stories have some, uh, hey, good morning, John, welcome. Uh, the newer stories probably have some different things going on. I personally am not, I'm not in involved in reading or following the news stories. I'm an old school, good morning, I'm an old school sword and sorcery man. 70s and 80s. Conan the Barbarian, Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith. John Buscema. Roy Thomas brought that to the uh, the world. And that's pretty much how the sword and sorcery thing works. It's sort of that lone warrior against the world finding their way. No love story. <laughs> I often say there can't be a love story in sword and sorcery. It's just not befitting. But between um, Zena and Red Sonia, they, that, that sort of difficulty in relationships is a part, obviously. Pencil sharpening here. No, no, it's a uh, 11 by 14 Strathmore tan paper. It's a toned paper. Kind of get an idea. I'm actually working against an 18 by 24. So off to the side, if I have some uh, thoughts. In combination of some colors or just to see how things end up blending I can do that sometimes I do it on the back but I figured I would just go that way but um, <laughs> yeah I'm beating uh, the drawing to the punch and not using white paper in order to bring whites back into the drawing at my own leisure which is usually very 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 end I use white and black color pencil to just punch forward anything that I really want you know like the the nose you know, highlight on the nose eyes you know just certain areas like that and then areas that I want very very dark and flat I'll just go ahead and use black right over the top okay so this was yellow orange I laid down some dark browns first yellow orange just to kind of go to the opposite side create some highlights. This is, um, this is a new pencil I just picked up, Sienna Brown. So it's got a good middle tone. Help combine and bring together the dark brown and the yellow orange. And the game I play is that I print the original drawing onto the Strathmore mm, 
toned paper, the tan toned paper, um, and basically just start covering the drawing with color pencil. It's kind of a game of bouncing the, matching the gray tones with the uh, charcoal painting. Yeah, I've done char charcoal. It's nice. It's very fleeting, smudgy. But it's definitely a great medium to use. And, um, you know, when you don't want to be too detailed or specific, but you're going for high contrast, going for values. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm a big fan of shrimp. Shrimp and crab. And thank you. Thank you for the love. <laughs> Great character. Yeah, He-Man actually was supposed to be Conan. He originally was being designed for television, Conan the Barbarian, yes. Um, and the licensing fell through at the last minute. So they basically had everything ready to go. And uh, yeah, they had to now make Conan into a new character. And, uh, hence the, uh, blonde hair and pink shirt. <laughs> ah, green's my favorite color. Thank you so very much for the hearts. Thank you for the love and encouragement. So, yeah, He-Man is originally supposed to be, thank you, originally supposed to be Conan. So, I think he did really good. Yes, Thundercats. I think that was, um... I think one of the very last cartoons I was so passionate about as a young man. I'm still passionate about cartoons. Like Aeon Flux. <laughs> Love me some Aeon Flux. The cartoon. The movie wasn't that bad, but she had to be skinnier. <laughs> like an Egon Sheila drawing. They should have just done a big feature animation for Aeon Flux.
All right. Well, we're coming to the end of uh, today's 20 minutes. Drawing women. This is Red Sonia. I am going to spend the rest of the day finishing up this drawing. Uh, once completed, I'll be posting Red Sonia on my website, kurtbrugel.com. You can get directly to my website through my por um, profile here on Periscope. I want to thank you all for joining me today, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I'm Drawing Women, Strong, Smart, and Sensual Ones. Join my newsletter over at KurtBrugel.com. Get a part of the uh, insider look at how I uh, go about working as an artist. Um, and the chance to win a free art print at the last Monday of every month. So the newsletter just comes out every Monday. Um, so, hey, thanks so much again for joining. See you on Tuesday. Also, I'm taking suggestions and requests. So uh, if you go ahead and head over to KurtBrugel.com, get in contact with me if you have any suggestions. And uh, please take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.